Welcome back, true crime enthusiasts. In today's video, we delve into the thrilling life and criminal escapades of one of America's most notorious figures from the 1930s, John Dillinger. Known for his audacious bank robberies, daring escapes, and the title of public enemy number one, Dillinger captivated the nation's attention and became a legendary figure in the criminal underworld. Join me as we uncover the captivating story of John Dillinger and explore the lasting impact he left on American history. Let's jump right in. John Dillinger was born on June 22, 1903, in Indiana Polis, Indiana. He came from a modest background, raised in a working-class family. His father, John Wilson Dillinger, was a grocer, while his mother, Mary Ellen Molly Lancaster, took care of the household. Dillinger had one sister, Audrey, and a stepbrother, Hubert. Growing up, he was an average student, but he exhibited a rebellious streak and a disdain for authority. While some have speculated about the impact of Dillinger's troubled family life on his criminal career, there is no definitive evidence to support this claim. Nevertheless, it is important to note that Dillinger's upbringing occurred during a tumultuous period in American history, marked by the Prohibition era, economic hardship, and a fascination with gangsters portrayed in popular culture. Dillinger's entry into the world of crime was gradual. As a teenager, he began engaging in petty theft and other minor offenses. At the age of 21, Dillinger enlisted in the United States Navy, but his military career was short-lived. After only nine months of service, he was dishonorably discharged for repeatedly going AOL. With limited employment prospects and a taste for adventure, Dillinger turned to more lucrative and illicit activities. He associated with local criminals and became involved in bootlegging operations during the Prohibition era. Dillinger's criminal activities escalated from stealing cars and robbing small businesses to more daring heists, primarily focusing on banks. Dillinger's charisma and leadership skills soon attracted like-minded individuals, and he formed a gang that would later become infamous as the Dillinger Gang. The gang consisted of trusted associates such as Harry Pierpont, Charles Mackley, and Homer Van Meter, among others. Each member brought their unique skills to the table, making the gang a formidable force in the criminal underworld. Under Dillinger's guidance, the gang primarily targeted banks employing meticulous planning and swift execution to carry out their daring robberies. Their audacity and success quickly earned them notoriety and catapulted Dillinger into the realm of legendary American outlaws. As the gang expanded their criminal enterprises, Dillinger's leadership became increasingly prominent. His charisma and strategic thinking propelled the gang to new heights and they enjoyed a brief period of lucrative criminal success. One of the most infamous incidents in Dillinger's criminal career was the daring robbery of the First National Bank in the small town of New Carlisle, Ohio. This meticulously planned heist took place on June 10, 1933, and it showcased Dillinger's audacity and strategic brilliance. Accompanied by his gang members, Dillinger executed the robbery flawlessly, netting a significant amount of cash and leaving the town in shock. The First National Bank robbery marked a turning point in Dillinger's criminal career. It garnered widespread media attention, thrusting him into the national spotlight as a daring and elusive criminal. The successful heist also emboldened Dillinger and his gang, solidifying their reputation as a force to be reckoned with. Dillinger's ability to escape from the clutches of the law became a defining aspect of his criminal persona. He repeatedly outwitted prison officials and eluded capture, creating a sense of awe and frustration among both law enforcement and the public. Throughout his criminal career, Dillinger staged several audacious prison escapes, whether it was through subterfuge, bribing guards, or overpowering his captors, Dillinger's cunning and resourcefulness allowed him to regain his freedom time and time again. These escapes not only highlighted Dillinger's ingenuity, but also exposed the shortcomings of the penal system and the authorities' inability to contain him. One escape that stands out among Dillinger's many prison breaks is the Crown Point Jailbreak. On March 3, 1934, Dillinger and his gang executed a daring plan to free their leader from the supposedly escape-proof Crown Point Jail in Indiana. With smuggled guns and a fake gun carved from a wooden block, Dillinger and his associates overpowered the guards and made their escape. The audacity and success of this jailbreak captured the imagination of the public and further solidified Dillinger's reputation as a master escape artist. The Crown Point jailbreak also intensified the nationwide manhunt for Dillinger and his gang. Law enforcement agencies, including the newly formed Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI, led by J. Edgar Hoover, were determined to bring Dillinger to justice 
escalating the intensity of their pursuit. As the saga of John Dillinger unfolded, his audacious bank robberies and daring escapes continued to captivate the public's imagination. The relentless pursuit by law enforcement only fueled the legend of John Dillinger, transforming him into a larger-than-life figure in the criminal underworld and popular culture of the 1930s. As John Dillinger's criminal career reached its peak, he attained the notorious title of public enemy number one. The media played a significant role in shaping the public perception of Dillinger. Journalists and tabloids sensationalized his crimes, transforming him into a captivating anti-hero figure. The construction of the Dillinger mythos created an aura of invincibility and daring around him, amplifying his legend and captivating the public's imagination. The media's portrayal of Dillinger as a folk hero, challenging the established order, only served to fuel his notoriety. During this period, Dillinger's crime spree intensified. He and his gang conducted a series of brazen bank robberies and other criminal activities. Their audacity and successful heists garnered widespread attention and instilled fear among the public. Notable events included the robbery of the Central National Bank in Greencastle, Indiana, and the subsequent shootout with law enforcement, in which Dillinger narrowly escaped. Law enforcement agencies, particularly the FBI led by J. Edgar Hoover, made capturing Dillinger their top priority. The pursuit of Dillinger was marked by intensive investigations, cooperation between federal and local authorities, and the deployment of new tactics and technologies. However, Dillinger's ability to constantly elude capture posed significant challenges for law enforcement, leading to frustration and embarrassment within the ranks. Despite his notoriety and countless close calls, Dillinger's criminal career ultimately came to an end, leaving an indelible mark on American history. On July 22, 1934, the FBI received a tip that Dillinger would be attending a movie at the Biograph Theater in Chicago. Law enforcement officers, including FBI agents, were lying in wait outside the theater. As Dillinger left the theater, he was confronted by the authorities. In the ensuing chaos, a shootout ensued, resulting in Dillinger being fatally shot. His death marked the end of an era and the closure of one of the most sensationalized manhunts in American history. John Dillinger's life and criminal exploits during the 1930s left an indelible mark on American history and popular culture. From his early life and entry into crime to his rise as public enemy number one, Dillinger's audacity and ability to elude capture fascinated the public and frustrated law enforcement. Despite his eventual demise, Dillinger's legacy as a legendary figure in the criminal underworld endures, immortalized in the collective memory of a bygone era. Thank you for joining our journey today. If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to click like and subscribe. Until next time, and stay safe.